Hey guys, welcome to today's video. It's that wonderful time again where Sephora is hosting their spring savings event. So of course, I am gonna be sharing my product recommendations and I have three categories that I'm gonna be focusing on. So skincare, makeup, and hair care. Although I could recommend like 20 products for each category, I thought that would be a little much in today's video. So what I've done is I have rounded it down to the top five for each category. But then of course, I will be linking some additional products that I love and recommend for each of these categories below for you, for your reference in case you would like to see what else I love when it comes to hair care, makeup, and skincare. So today is when Rouge members can take advantage of 20% off, but I will insert the other tiers here, of course, when the date starts and ends, and then of course the discount code. Remember, 30% off for everybody when it comes to the Sephora collection. And I will be shopping the sale this year and I will be uploading another video after this at some point once I get everything So I will be sharing a Sephora haul video and then of course everything that I picked up during the sale like I said So everything that you need to know including links discount codes related videos will be linked below for you in my description box Please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell as I'd love to have you all here long term And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well as it really helps with the channel. All right, so let's start with makeup first. Now, I love a good complexion product that really helps to even out my skin, but also giving that nice luminosity and creating more of that natural look with my skin. I love the It Cosmetics CC Cream. You guys know that I have been using this and talking about this since day one of my channel. And even before I started my YouTube channel, I was still using the It Cosmetics CC Cream, and I can't stop using it. So this, of course, is the Illumination formula, which has like that micro glitter in it. It's nothing crazy, like you don't look sparkly, but it just gives this beautiful glow to the skin. But I also really like the original formula as well, which I do have, and I do switch back and forth depending on what I feel like using. They both have the same coverage and everything, except for the original formula just doesn't have that micro glitter. But this contains a mineral SPF in here, SPF 50, and I have two shades. So this is shade light and this is shade fair. I generally have to mix the two together to get that proper coverage and that proper shade, especially during fall, winter, and going into spring. Come summer months when I'm self tanning and I am darker, I just wear shade light. Shade light on its own with my fair skin is pretty dark. So again, that's why I like to mix in fair and it just gives me that perfect shade. But this has that nice longevity. You can honestly build this up to a medium to full coverage. You can shear this out to more of a light coverage if you really wanted to. And even though this contains an SPF 50, you should still wear sunscreen beforehand. Don't rely on your makeup for your sun protection. Just don't. Wear your sunscreen underneath this. But if you're looking for a good CC cream, look into the It Cosmetics. I also really like the Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation. I recently talked about this in a past video and this is beautiful. It gives that nice lightweight feel on the skin. It's a medium coverage, but you can build it up and you can sheer it out. And it really does give this natural look to the skin. And so with this formula, it is a little bit more liquidy, whereas the It Cosmetics has more of that thicker texture to it. So when I'm using this, I like to use a foundation brush because I feel like if you're using a damp sponge, the sponge will absorb this product. So it's best to apply this with a brush if you can, but this is honestly very beautiful and it gives that skin-like finish. So it's not mattifying, but it's also not glowy and luminosity. It's just your skin. And I actually have this on today and I really love the way that my skin looks when I have this on and it has a nice long wear time as well. It is waterproof, so if you want something more of that foundation, then I do like this one as well. I also really love the Say Glowy Super Gel. So this is kind of like a hybrid in between a makeup product and a skincare product. So this does contain skin benefiting ingredients, 
but if you are somebody that loves that glowy complexion, then you're going to love this. So I have told you guys in the past that I do like to put a pump or two into the palm of my hand, and then of course I put my foundation into the palm of my hand. I mix the two together and apply it to my skin that way, or you can just put this on your skin before you apply your foundation. You can just use this as a highlighter, or you can use this just as an all over product and that's it. So if you're having a good skin day, you're not looking for coverage, but you are looking for that glowing complexion, then you are going to love this product. It does come in two shades. This is the shade Star Glow, so the lightest shade. They do have more of a bronzier option if you do have that darker skin tone or if you'd like to add a little bit more color to the skin. Again, it's not going to give you too much color, but depending on your skin tone, there are two options here, and I really like this a lot. So if you wanna add that glow to your skin, this is the product. The next product is by Makeup by Mario. This is the Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer. There are different shades to pick from. This is in the shade Light Medium. I personally use this as a bronzer because I love creamy bronzers that have that balmy texture to it because it just gives more of that skin-like look when it's on your skin and it gives more of that dewy complexion as well, which I really do like. I love that glowing complexion. I personally don't like matte skin on myself, although I do enjoy a powdered bronzer and I still use those. I just much prefer something like this because it just melts into your skin and it just looks like your skin is naturally bronzed from the sun. So that is really what I like to go for, but you know, everyone's different. But this doesn't have to be used as a bronzer. You can actually use this as an all over color for that complexion product. And again, there are different shades. There is one shade lighter than this. And I've personally never used this as an all over color because this would be way too dark, but you can use this as an all over, especially if you can find a shade that matches your skin tone. It's very lightweight. Honestly, you would have the most beautiful complexion ever if you were to put this all over because it just gives that nice skin like look. Like I said, I do have it on my cheeks today. I do have it on my forehead. Of course, I do have blush on top, which I will share in just a minute, but this is beautiful. And this is actually my second one. So I don't need to buy one this time around. Maybe come November, I might have to purchase another one, but I really do like this. And if you like creamy bronzers, I would say look into this. It really does have that nice longevity as well. The bronzer never moves and it never disappears. It stays on my skin for the entire day. So I have to mention a blush. I love these two, and honestly, if you love a good liquid blush, then you have to check out either the Stay or the Rare Beauty. These two will last you a very long time. I've had this since last year, and I don't even think I've gone through half of this yet. The littlest amount goes the longest way, especially with these two because they are very pigmented. So all you need is one little tap on your cheek and then you might be blending for a while because that's how pigmented they are. But again, you're getting your money's worth and they're going to last a really long time. But not to mention, once it's on your skin, that longevity is there as well. And my cheeks will look like this until I wash my face at nighttime. So right now I actually have the Rare Beauty one on. This is in the shade Joy, which is a coral peachy shade, which I love for spring and summer. I was using this in the winter though. I was using this more so in the winter. This is in the shade Chili, which is a nice cool tone pink mauve shade, if you will. I will link some additional shades and products that I love as well below for you if you're into liquid or cream blushes. Love a good cream blush as well, but liquid blushes in particular, I feel like lasts the longest on the skin. So if you're into products like this, these two are chef's kiss. And the last product in the makeup category is by Ula Henriksen. This is the Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatments. This is fairly new, especially their shade range. They of course had their original peptide lip treatment with no pigment. And then of course they came out with these tinted ones. And I couldn't wait for the Sephora sale. Honestly, I picked this up actually a couple of weeks ago and I am obsessed because they remind me of the Summer Fridays Lip Butter Bombs that I wear all the time 
time as well. And I had heard a lot of great things about this and I agree, these are incredible. So I have two shades here. This is a limited edition shade apparently. So this is in the shade Blood Orange Spritz, which I do have on my lips today. I do have the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner underneath this shade, just to add some fullness, but also just to give more of that longevity with the color as well. And I thought that this would look really nice paired up with the Rare Beauty Joy Blush that I just shared because it's all in the peachy tones. So this is beautiful, but I really like this one as well because it's more for every day. It does have that nice color payoff as well. Your lips will look similar to this shade here and this is in the shade strawberry sorbet so this actually smells and kind of tastes like strawberry really nice this one is in grapefruit now I love grapefruits I love eating them I love the smell of them but I wouldn't say that this smells like a grapefruit like there's something weird about the scent of this it's not gross where I can't wear it anymore but it definitely does not smell like grapefruit in my opinion so keep that in mind this one smells amazing though so if you like lip products like this honestly I highly recommend there's peptides in here there's different oils butters they feel great your lips aren't sticky they're not tacky and they last a really long time on the lips and they're very moisturizing as well moving on to skincare now the first product that I really want to recommend is the glow recipe cloud berry bright essence toner this is their newest launch and I am obsessed with this I am almost done it's actually right there and I will be purchasing another one during the sale absolutely this is very very hydrating but it's also very brightening as well so this has cloudberry which is rich in vitamin C and vitamin E there is 5% glycerin so very moisturizing on the skin and there's also coenzyme Q10 which is an antioxidant so the more consistent you are with this you will notice that your complexion will become brighter and that is the first thing that I noticed when using this I've been using this every day twice a day since I received it I do pair this up with tretinoin I have used this with peptides vitamin C honestly I've paired this up with anything and everything and I've never had issues with pilling nothing because again this is your essence toner so this would be the first product that you would apply after cleansing your skin but before your serums and then of course your creams your sunscreen and then of course your makeup but this is very hydrating on the skin and if your skin is feeling tight it's angry I feel like this does a very good job but also this is just that nice added product to give more of that brighter complexion which of course who doesn't want nowadays so again you can use this every day twice a day and this has to be the best product that glow recipe has come out with to date it's incredible I really love these summer Fridays shade drops this is the broad spectrum SPF 30 mineral milk sunscreen this is 100% mineral with a zinc oxide of 9.4% I really like this formula because it has that true serum texture where it spreads really nicely across the skin your skin absorbs it nicely as well there's no sticky tackiness involved there's no gross sunscreen smell and the color of the sunscreen is a beigey tone very similar to the packaging actually so with my experience with this this has not left a white cast on my fair skin and there's a lot of mineral sunscreens that will leave a cast on my fair skin but this does not and I'm wondering if it's because of that beigey tone that they've added to it but also I think it's because it's very thin and lightweight I feel like mineral sunscreens that are very thick and rich they tend to leave more of a cast because they're thicker and this just absorbs into your skin so if you do have a darker skin tone of course there's always that possibility with mineral sunscreens but if there is a cast I feel like there wouldn't be much of a cast at all and if there is then of course if you wear makeup or something tinted on top of this then of course it would disguise that cast if there was any but this is incredible underneath makeup or on its own I do put this around my eye area I do bring this down my neck and my chest I do wish that this was a higher SPF of course and 
I wish it was water resistant. This isn't water resistant. So if you're going to be sweating, you're going to be near the water, you will want to choose a water resistant formulation. So hopefully Summer Fridays comes out with another sunscreen down the road, something with that higher SPF with that water resistant formula, or maybe something tinted would be really nice. But in the meantime, this is incredible. And although I do have a lot of favorites when it comes to sunscreens, this has to be one of my top favorites because of how thin and lightweight it is. The next product is by Topicals. This is the Ingrown Tonic. I have talked about this a few times on my channel in the past and I had to include it in this video since we are in the spring months now and we are coming into summer and if you are somebody that is prone to ingrown hairs or bumps on the backs of your thighs, the backs of your arms, maybe your bikini line underneath your arms, maybe you're a male that has facial hair and when you shave you get those bumps that can happen afterwards, I know Sean gets that sometimes, then you can use this as well. And I like it because it is super effective and honestly within one or two uses you do notice that the bumps start to decrease. But if you know that you develop ingrown hairs in a specific area or you do develop bumps, if you just use this once a day, it will prevent those bumps from developing. And I do get a lot of bumps behind my thighs, especially from shaving and stuff. So if I use this every day when I get out of the shower before putting on my body cream, I literally have no bumps at all and I don't develop any ingrown hairs. So this really is effective. Also, there is salicylic acid, glycolic acid, niacinamide, and zinc. So this is great even for discoloration as well. So if you do have the darker underarm or the bikini line, then this can help to brighten up that skin as well while preventing ingrown hairs and bumps. So this is incredible and I highly recommend. The next product that I would recommend is by Dr. Dennis Gross. This is the Derm Infusions Fill Plus Repair Serum. I have talked about this before in the past. It's been a while since I've talked about it, but I still love it and I do still use it to this day on and off. Now, this is a serum that honestly targets multiple skin concerns. So if you are looking to limit down on your skincare routine, whether it's your morning or your nighttime or both, and you're looking for a serum that targets many skin concerns like fine lines and wrinkles, that uneven skin tone, that dull complexion, but also if you have texture, then this serum will target all of those skin concerns. This is exceptionally great if you do have texture, and I told you guys a little while ago, within my first couple of uses of using this, I did have some texture on my chin. This wiped it out completely within a couple of days, and that was really impressive. This gives my skin that super soft, smooth look, it gives my complexion that brighter look as well, but with consistency, this can help to soften fine lines and wrinkles to firm the skin, and it really is exceptional. There is fragrance, please keep that in mind. There is a little bit of a floral scent to it. It's very, very mild, but there is something there. It is pretty pricey as well, but again, with the sale, you are getting a discount. But if you do plan on limiting the products that you use in your skincare routine, then it might be cheaper to actually buy just one serum. And then of course, all you have to worry about is a cleanser, a moisturizer, and then of course, a sunscreen. So it might actually be cheaper depending on what you're currently using now. But this product is really effective and I honestly cannot recommend it enough. And the last product in the skincare category is by Drunk Elephant. This is the Ace Shabba Complex Eye Serum. I have really enjoyed this product. I did talk about it a little while ago and I'm still using it and I'm very impressed with this formulation because it has 0.1% retinol, it does have 3% caffeine in here, but there's also copper peptides. So not only are these three key ingredients amazing, the remaining ingredients that are in here are also very impressive and beneficial to the skin around the eyes. So if you have dark circles, you have puffiness, you're looking for something to target fine lines, the crepiness, really help to firm the skin around the eye area, then honestly, you need to look into this. And I told you guys about copper peptides. It really takes your skin to the next level, especially if you've been using a regular peptide for a really long time. And let's say you're just not seeing the results like you want, 
go to a copper peptide. And of course, you can just find a copper peptide serum, like the one from The Ordinary or the one from Neod, and try using that around the eyes, along with applying that all over your face and your neck. But just know that some of us can be sensitive to face serums around the eye area. So at least this is designed for the delicate skin around the eyes, where the formulation and the concentrations of the ingredients are formulated correctly for the skin around the eyes. So again, there is a 0.1% retinol, 3% caffeine, and then of course copper peptides, and then there's a lot of other ingredients to keep the skin nice and moisturized as well. So you can use this every day, twice a day, but I mainly keep this for my nighttime routine, and this is exceptional. And all you need is one pump, and one pump will do both of your eyes. Moving on to hair care now. The first product is by K18. This is the Peptide Prep Detox Shampoo. This is literally the best clarifying shampoo I have ever used. I have used many different clarifying shampoos in the past, and I'm telling you right now, they have all made my hair look and feel like straw. And I hate that feeling. I really hate when my hair looks and feels crunchy because the clarifying shampoo just literally stripped all of the goodness out of my hair. And when you have blonde hair or lightened hair, your hair can be on the drier side already. So some clarifying shampoos can make your hair feel and look worse. This one does not, and I'm telling you right now, this is incredible. I use this about once or twice a month. You could use it more often than that, especially if you're someone that really has that oily scalp or you're using a lot of products and you get that buildup in your hair. You could use it more often than once or twice a month. Of course, you may not wanna use this every time you wash your hair, although you probably could. I don't think it's necessary, but this is exceptional to get rid of that buildup. And every time I use this, I have that bounce to my hair again. My hair has that shine as well. And my hair just looks so fresh after I've clarified my hair. So I always look forward to those clarifying days. And when I do use this, I use this as that first cleanse. And then I go in with a second cleanse afterwards with my shampoo of choice. So I always wash my hair twice because I do wash my hair once or twice a week. So I always shampoo twice. And I like to use this as that first cleanse to really get rid of any oil or buildup. So this is incredible. If you're looking for a good detox shampoo, look into this one. The next product is by Kerastos. This is the Blonde Absolute Shampoo. This is for highlighted or lightened hair. This will give your hair that beautiful shine and your hair is also super soft as well, at least from my experience with this. And this does not weigh down my hair either. I have pretty fine hair. There's a lot of shampoos and hair products in general that can weigh down my hair or create more of that greasy look and feel a day or two after I've washed my hair. I don't get that whatsoever when I'm using this. Now, if I'm not using this, then I do enjoy the Drunk Elephant Glossing Shampoo, which of course I will leave below for you. And I also like the other K18 shampoo as well, the one that you can use more often, like daily. I also like that. So I switched between those three shampoos, but I recently picked this up about maybe a month and a half ago and I really really like it. It smells incredible and again it just makes my hair super shiny and soft. So again this is for highlighted lightened hair but of course Kerastos has many products to pick from. Now when it comes to conditioners and hair masks I do have a lot of favorites which again I will leave some additionals below for you but the one that I am very impressed with is by Drunk Elephant and this is the Silk Amino Mega Moisturizing Masker. When I say that your hair looks and feels like silk, I am not lying. This will give that nice silky feel when you rinse out your hair. There's nothing better than washing your hair, putting a good mask in your hair, and when you rinse your hair out, your hair just feels so soft like silk, especially after you used a clarifying shampoo. Using this afterwards is always nice to do just to add more moisture into the hair but I use this almost every hair wash. Even though this is a hair mask, you can use your hair masks more than just a couple of times a month. And this is exceptional to give that hydration to the hair, 
but it also gives that shine as well and this has been my go-to so if you're looking for a good hair mask honestly look into this drunk elephant like their hair care line is really impressive i have a lot of their hair care products but the mask is seriously one of the best so I'm a big fan of leave-in conditioners. I feel like using a leave-in conditioner that also acts as a heat protectant is really important because we wanna put that moisture back in the hair, but then of course we wanna protect our hair if we're using heat styling tools and so on. Now I really like the Briogeo Superfoods. This is the Avocado Plus Kiwi Mega Moisture 3-in-1 Leave-In Spray. Now you could spray this into your hair. I personally, don't like doing that because sometimes I feel like I'm putting way too much in my hair and after you've blow dried your hair sometimes you feel like a film on your hair I don't like that and maybe it's because I have fine hair I don't know if you have thick coarse hair then you might want to spray it into your hair but for me personally I just spray multiple sprays into the palm of my hand and then of course I just focus it on the mids to ends and then I will add more do my other side and then I do like to put some in my bangs as well and this is incredible it smells nice and it makes my hair super soft it does add shine as well and I think it's a really good leave-in like of course there are so many options but I do like this one and um, it's also silicone free there is no sulfates or parabens and it also gives you UV protection as well and the next product is by Kerastase this is the blonde absolute overnight leave-in serum so this is a no rinse you want to apply this to your hair the night before and when you wake up in the morning you just do what you normally do and then walk out the door and you can reapply this every night until your hair wash day and when I first purchased this I was using this every single night but now that I've had it for a little while now I might only use it two or three times in between my hair washes or maybe just once or twice it just depends but this is great for those that have lightened or highlighted hair but even if you have darker hair I honestly can't see why you couldn't use this because this is just to add hydration to the hair but also to repair your ends as well especially if you have breakage frizziness and dryness to the hair now being a blonde yes sometimes my hair can be a little drier maybe a little frizzier and yes I hate to say it but I can still experience breakage the odd time so this just helps to repair the ends but my bangs are always pretty frizzy they always have been so when I'm creating um, like a hairstyle like I'm wearing today and I need to smooth out any flyaways or to tame any frizz especially in the bang area I will actually put a little bit in my fingers and just smooth it and work it into my hair just to tame everything down and it also adds a lot of shine as well and I do that a lot when I'm wearing updos like this but when my hair is down I just add a little bit to the mids and ends a little bit in the bang and I do that until my next hair wash and this is incredible it smells the exact same as the shampoo and I have really seen the biggest difference with this I really have so if you need something like that I would say look into this a little bit goes a long way you might only need a pump or two but you might need to add more if you have a lot of hair and I know I said that I was only going to share five products, but I really wanted to share this little comb. This is by Fabel in Maine, and this is the Scalp Massager. And I actually purchased this months ago, and I really like it, especially on those hair wash days. I bring this in the shower with me, and when I have my shampoo in my hair or conditioner, I really do like to use this on the scalp to increase blood circulation and just to give that nice massage to the scalp. It also works the product into the scalp a little bit more as well but this is also great to use on those non hair wash days when you brush your hair just to stimulate that blood circulation so if you like stuff like that I really wanted to share it in this video it is a wood comb and I really like it it feels really nice when you are using it on your scalp and if you are somebody that uses scalp oils like scalp treatments then this would be really nice to use afterwards to really work it into the scalp so those are my Sephora recommendations. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully I was able to introduce you 
to something new today. Of course, all of the products that I share today, including additional products that I love when it comes to skincare, makeup, and hair care, will all be linked below for you for your reference. Stay tuned. I will be uploading my Sephora haul video once I do receive all of my sale goodies. So don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on that upcoming video. Let me know if you're going to be shopping the Sephora sale. What is on your radar? What do you plan on picking up? And is there anything that you would recommend for me to purchase? Let's get a conversation going in that comment section. But thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And of course, I will see you all in the next video. Take care and I will see you all then. Bye guys.